Hey, hey, welcome to TMX Brick Notes. I am your host, Martin, and in this video, I've got your most up to date LEGO news for today, March 30th, 2014. And we've got a bunch of stuff to get to, including pictures of famous bands, how LEGO is being used in school, a brick film contest, details on your May the 4th promotions, a few upcoming events, and information about a fellow YouTuber just like you. So, with all of that, we better get started. So, how many times can you reuse a Lego piece before it loses its ability to clutch and stick together? Well, Felipe Canton was determined to find out. And last year, in February of 2013, he spent a weekend and put together a uh, machine that tested how many times two pieces could go together, come apart, and stay connected. Well, his results went viral, including NBC News, the Discovery Channel, and more. He ended up with 120,000 plus views on his video and found out that these pieces could last more than 37,000 times connecting and still work. So what he did is he didn't want to just rely on one test. He did a second test. And last month that ended and he changed his way of testing. He wanted to use more natural motions. In the first test he was going straight up and down. In the next test, more natural motions and it took him a lot longer to complete. The first time it took him about uh, just over the weekend. This last time to uh, prepare the process and do the entire thing took about two months. So he says he's still not done. His second test did result, similar results, 32,000 impressions. So great results, Lego is built very well, but he's not done. He wants to do 10 to 12 more of these tests and really verify his results. A former music critic from Malaysia recreated 33 different bands, and I have pictures of those to show you. It was created by Adley Sayeri Ramley, and he took these pictures using his iPhone 5. He says that he legalized these bands, so very cool. I'm not going to list them all, but we're going to go through a few pictures. So we have The Beatles. We have Green Day. Metallica. In sync, and that's Timberlake in the middle, I believe. Of course, One Direction, uh, not of course, they're just new. Pearl Jam, Pink Floyd, and even Tupac Shakur. So, did he leave anybody out? I think so. Like Kiss is a big band that he probably should have had. ACDC, maybe. Can you think of one and name one? Put that in the comments. I'd like to hear what it is. We have yet another story about how Lego is being used in schools. This from Brisbane, Australia. The teacher, Cheryl Bellamy, is teaching her third grade class each week with Lego. They spend about an hour and a half and they're using a program called Story Starter. It's pretty awesome because it helps them present the news using Lego. I think it's great. So the teacher says that it actually brings out the energy in kids and makes them more engaged. Again, that link's in the description if you want more detail. Are you a fellow brick filmer? Which means, do you like to create stop motion animation using your LEGO characters? Well, I've got a contest for you, and this one is for Easter, and it's put on by BricksInMotion.com. The deadline is Wednesday, April 9th. In the video, well, you should all be able to do this, because the video needs to be short. You need to make one that is 20 seconds or less. The theme is Easter, so it's for Easter 2014. And I also think you should do this because there are great prizes. First place prize gets a Sunset Speeder, second place prize gets an Emerald Express, and even third place gets a Lego Movie collectible minifigure. So, I hope you get out there and do some animating. So if you're looking to get the Lego Movie Everything is Awesome Edition for your home, you can actually pre-order that right now on Amazon. And it looks like it's going for 42 US dollars, which is a savings, they say, of 18 bucks. Now, we still don't have a specific date for when it's going to come out, but it does have more details. If you take a look at the picture here, you can see it's going to come with a Blu-ray, a DVD, and an ultraviolet digital HD. Of course, it, as I said in a previous newscast, it will come with a Vitruvius minifigure, it even comes with a collectible 3D Emmet photo and a bonus 3D movie. So it is a large price tag, but it does come with a lot of extras, a lot of perks, 
So if you're like me, you're really excited about the extras, but honestly, we just want to watch the movie. By now, you're most likely already aware that the Simpsons minifig characters are going to be coming out in the blind bags. There will be 16 collectible minifigs. What you might not be aware of is this coincides with the 25th season of their TV show, and on May 4th, the show will premiere with a special Lego episode, and it's going to be called Brick Like Me. So that's pretty awesome. Here's another look at your Simpsons characters. From left, we have Itchy and Scratchy, all the way across to Grandpa and Ned Flanders. Very cool accessories coming with these characters. Here's a quick update on a story I just did recently. It's about the Leah intern report, and ABC News has picked it up, where the girl did her internship application using Lego. She says, this is a direct quote from her, the attention has been overwhelming in the best way. So it's pretty exciting. It's a 20-year-old Northwestern University student, and she's originally from Johnston, Iowa. Just this week, we saw pictures revealing Darth Revan, and he's going to be the minifigure that you can pick up with your May the 4th promotion. So if you spend 75 US dollars or more, you will get a Darth Revan. And it looks like you need to do this on May 3rd, 4th, or 5th. So that is your time frame. But either way, pretty exciting, very exclusive character. Another Star Wars promotion is the UCS Sandcrawler. And that will start being available, in the United States at least, on May the 3rd with a price tag of 300 US dollars. A few other sets that we're looking forward to coming this summer from Legends of Chima, we have two sets. We have Krager's Fire Striker, 70135, and Sir Fanger's Ice Fortress, 70147. So hopefully, we'll see those coming out in the summer of 2014. We move on to LEGO events now, and we start with Toys R Us with a building event. On Saturday, April 12th, starting at noon and going until 2 p.m., you can do a LEGO Movie building event. And I believe this is a repeat because it looks like you will be building Emmett's car. Regardless, it looks like a fun event. You need to make sure you're checking your details, check your local details on your Toys R Us store. Here's a big event in the UK at the National Space Center. It is Brickish Weekend 2014, and it is May 10th and 11th. It looks like it starts at 10 a.m. and goes until 5 p.m. This is co-hosted by the Brickish Association, and a cool thing is five and under gets in for free. Adults, I believe, are 13 pounds, and uh, youth would be 11 pounds. So if you're going to go to the Brickish Weekend, you can buy your ticket in advance. You, you even have the option to upgrade to an annual pass for the National Space Center. But again, if you go to this event, it looks like there's going to be plenty of brickish displays for their large Lego creations. On to some news from a fellow YouTuber. This coinciding with the release of the Captain America movie, in the United States anyway, is coming out this Friday. I believe in the UK you've already had that movie released. So there you go, something we have to wait for here in the United States. Regardless, fellow YouTuber Michael MGF has created a custom Captain America that matches the movie poster. In fact, four characters from that movie poster. And what he's going to do is have a live broadcast or maybe uh, just a video post Thursday evening to showcase the characters that he has created. So pretty cool. I'll have a link in the description so you can check that out. All right, now on to your local news. For me, TMX Brick Notes. On Monday, I will have quiz number nine finally be released. And on Tuesday, every Tuesday, I do a weekly vlog. On Wednesday, I always do a weekly haul. Stay tuned to see who the winner is for the guessing of how many Lego elements are in each cup. And on Thursday, every Thursday, Lego news. Now on Friday, I'm going to do something different. This Friday, anyways, I plan to do a Q&A because I'm going to cut that out of this video. So the news is essentially just the news and no longer Q&A. It's gotten to be a little too long. Uh, for instance, Friday's Q&A is going to be a question from South Brick Falls Fire. Great question. He asks, Metalbeard's sea cow costs a whole bunch of money. 
So should I buy it or should I get other Lego? I'm going to answer that for you in a video on Friday. It's a great question. So hang out till then and we'll get you an answer. Thank you very much for tuning in today. A huge thank you to all of my subscribers. I hope you enjoy the news. I bring it to you every Sunday and Thursday. In the meantime, I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll catch up with you guys later. See ya!